today we are going to be raiding Reddit fits because we have no subscribers and nobody to send us any outfits. So I have about seven fits and we're gonna go through them. I'm gonna rate them one out of five stars depending on fit, the overall picture, how it looks, all of that. So for the first fit we have this minimal black and white outfit with a Stone Island blazer, a Mastermind shirt, Nike lab pants, and black Balenciaga, uh, the sock runners. So I think this jacket is dope. This blazer is pretty sick. With the Mastermind striped shirt, I think it works perfectly. The fit is amazing. The rings really look good, so all the accessories work well with the outfit since it is so minimal. And the only thing I have an issue with is those pants. Those pants are so tight, and with a blazer, I'd like a more loose-fitting loose pant. I wouldn't necessarily wear a sock run with it either. I think it looks a bit silly. So, overall, I'm going to give it a 3. Actually, no. No. I'm giving it a 2.5, actually, because the whole bottom... I don't really like too much. It doesn't work well with the top, you know? But the top does work well together and it is six, so two and a half overall stars. Not so bad. So for the second fit, we have this preppy boy in an off-white sweater, a turtleneck, and shorts with high socks and church boy shoes. This outfit's atrocious. Like the sweater is just way too oversized with short shorts. It looks ridiculous. White socks with the church slippers and the short shorts look ridiculous. This whole outfit is put together pretty shit. Overall, I'd probably give it a one star, honestly. All right, so for the third fit, we have another minimal outfit. As you can see, that's mostly what I picked. For the top, it is a Andy sweater, a dress man button up, thrifted trousers, Andy boots, and a CDG tote bag. So, all in all, I think this outfit's amazing. The button down works really well with the sweater, with the length. The sweater isn't too baggy, especially with the, with the button up. I don't think you should be wearing that big of a baggy sweater. The trousers fit in perfectly with the pleat, and it falls sick on the boot. And overall, I just think this whole outfit is dope. It works well together, it fits him amazing. The tote bag is a good accessory. The one thing I could say is I'm seeing that necklace at the top by the collar. I don't know why you would put your necklace outside of your collar. It just looks silly to me. I wouldn't necessarily do that so I would give that outfit a four actually. Losing some points for the for the cross. So for the fourth outfit we have this monk in Supreme Monk and Yeezys. Alright, so for the fifth outfit, we have this sailor looking picture. I don't have any idea on the, the garments, on any of it. But all in all, I think it's a sick outfit. I would like if the, if the button up was a little shorter, or maybe it's the trousers, the cut trousers that make it look like it's, it's off a little bit to me. So all in all, I'd probably give this fit, I'd give him three stars. The bucket hat actually looks dope. I mean, I don't really see anybody wearing bucket hats anymore, but he pulls it off well with the blazer especially and, and the dress shirt. I wouldn't really think to pair those two things together, but it looks well. So for the sixth outfit, I don't have any information on this either, but all in all, I think this outfit is dope. This is one of my favorite outfits. It's a woman's wear outfit, but clearly I even would wear it. It looks so sick. The straps look amazing, especially since it's a white pant with white straps, it's monochrome and it doesn't stand out too much, but there's so much detail in that outfit that it looks amazing and it fits her so well, it's so dope. That's a, that's a five star outfit, like, I don't know what else to say man, that, that's, that's a sick outfit. So for the sixth outfit we have a kid in a fog trench coat, packs on turtleneck, helmet length, belt undercover cargo pants and Rick Owen Geo baskets. So you can't really see the belt too much in this picture. I don't really like the parko or the turtleneck. The cargos are sick. 
And with the geo baskets, they actually look really good. I wouldn't pair those two together. I wouldn't even wear geo baskets because they look so clunky. But with the cargo pants, it works. And all in all, I'd give it a two and a half to three stars. Somewhere in between there. The last fit we have is Marc Jacobs trench coat, Bonobo's shirt, NNF which is naked and famous, their denim, and SLP boots. All in all, I think this outfit is dope. This is probably my second favorite out of all of them. The way that all of this fits him to where the shirt is high and the trench coat falls down nicely, it looks sick. The boots and the skinny jeans actually work really well with this outfit, and the necklace bringing it down, bringing some attention to the plain area in the middle of the chest. It's dope all around. And you know, it's not like a crazy expensive outfit. It's pretty basic, you know, Naked and Famous and Bonbos, but he put it all together really well. So all in all, I'd probably give it three and a half, four stars. Nothing too crazy, but it's a nice basic outfit, nonetheless. And that wraps up the mini series of Rate Your Reddit Fits. If all nine of my subscribers want to send me fits, send them to my Instagram, and I probably could make a video with that, actually. I don't really need that many fits to make a full video, so send them to my Instagram, DM me, whatever, and yeah, we'll go from there. See you guys next time.